this last drill is where the money is. You can lay out five cones. I just like to do five, sometimes you can do six. And what you're going to do is single leg sideways hops. And we're never going to jump, um, we're never going to use our left foot to jump to the left because it's anatomically incorrect and it's really hard for you to generate force you could possibly hurt your knee. So when you're jumping with your left, you're moving to the right. And when you're jumping with your right, you're moving to the left. It's a very simple move. So you're gonna start here. Your focus is to make one step contact in between each cone. When you get to the far end cone, you're then gonna pivot on your opposite foot that's been resting and jump back and do the reverse circuit. So here's it in a little bit of slower motion. It's a hard move, but it's a rocker. We're here, left foot, which means we're going right. We're going right, pivot on your right, and now jump to the left. Pivot on your left, and now jump to the right. Pivot right, jump to the left. Keep switching, keep switching, keep switching. Those are excellent mobility drills. That last one's gonna get your heart rate up, and it's gonna really focus on your ability to touch the floor and get off the floor. Because it's, when your feet are on the ground, you're not making progress in any sport. If you're playing basketball, soccer, football, baseball, hockey, well, hockey's a little bit different because you have the possibility of gliding. But understand the mentality that when your foot is on the ground, you're not moving. For that split second, your foot is on the ground. The only reason why your foot's on the ground is so you can make ground contact to then propel yourself further. So, I'm not moving. Oh, I just moved. Why? Because I used the ground and I pushed off of it. So when you're doing these lateral cones, you want to focus on quick feet and spring yourself in the other direction and focus on your quick cuts. Here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. If you bottom up like that, take it down a notch, catch your breathers, relax, find out whether it was just a lapse of concentration, which that was for me, or if you're really gassed. And if you're really gassed, then there's a couple things that you should do. Make less cones, shorten the distance, slow it down. But the whole purpose is to work on quick feet. Touch the ground and get off the ground. Touch the ground and get off the ground. Those are all the drills that we're doing when we're doing these cone hops. Then you jump here, and then you want to get 10 pops. Try to keep your legs as close together as possible. If you got farther legs, you got to travel a different distance, and it's slower and it's a little bit tougher. That would be for like maximum. It's just a different move. We want to focus on little hops. And these cones are great because they force you to get off the ground. If it was a flat object, you might graze it and not even know that you're not getting any distance. Use a pair of shoes. Use anything. These shoes can easily substitute for these cones. See? Doesn't matter. Just get five, possibly ten. I would like you to have ten because then it gives you more, more, more diversity. You just need a couple of objects as, as obstacles that you then have to overcome. Those are some mobility drills. They, work as, they focus on cardio. They focus on leg strength, balance, coordination, mobility. And you're going to understand how to move faster, better. You're just going to be faster on your feet. You're going to be a better athlete. You're going to be a better person. You're not going to walk slow. Move slow. You're going to walk fast. Move fast and not get tired. That's what mobility drills will get you. And when it's cold outside, you don't want to go outside? Forget it. Get in your basement, get in your garage, put a couple of objects down, and get to work. And you'll see results, guaranteed. Later.